Hello everyone, my name is Cameron. I'm a lead tutor here in the ARC, and today we will be going over how to use the Canvas inbox feature. So when we first pull up Canvas on from our dashboard, we'll see this screen right here. So this is just a view of all of our classes. And over here on the left hand side, there will be a inbox. So this is located right here. When you hover your mouse over it, it will say inbox just so you know you're in the right place. And if we click on that, this is what will pop up. So we will have a list of all of the inboxes we have been sent as well as a section over here, which is where your conversations will appear once you select one. So within the inbox, we can sort our messages a couple of different ways. We can have all of our messages, which is just the inbox. We can sort by unread messages, which we'll be able to tell if they're unread by whether or not this circle is filled in or if it is blank like right now. We'll have starred messages, sent messages, archived messages, and submission comments. So to start a message, you will go over to the little right hand side of the message panel and there will be a little star that you can click to star the message or to unstar it. So here is where we will find all of our messages by course. So we can go through and click on our courses and find messages from that course. And you can do this for your favorite courses, other courses that you've been in, courses that have ended, or any groups that you might be a part of. So here is the more classes, included classes, and groups. Next, we're going to go over how to compose a new message. So there's an icon right here, about in the middle of the screen, but a little off to the right. Um, and when you hover over it, it will say compose a new message. So when we click that icon right there, this box will pop up to compose the message. So you first start by selecting your course from your favorites, and then you select who you would like to send it to. You can type this in by name, or you can click the contact book right here to get a list of everybody in the course. You then want to go on to write a subject, and then you can type your message directly in this box right here. You can also use this to attach files or to attach video. And then you would just click send and everybody will get your message. So this is what it will look like once you click a message to read. So I've clicked this first message right here. It will pop up big on the side and I'll be able to read the message. So as well as reading the message, we also have options to reply. So we can reply to the sender. We can reply to all of the people who received the message. We can archive the message or delete the message. We can also mark the messages unread, forward the message or star the message using this little settings button right here. If you want to send a message to somebody specific and you know their name, you can click this box right here, type in their name, and then a list of people will come up. If you're not sure of exactly the person's name, but you know what class they're in, you can go in and click directly on the class and find people that way as well. So that is how to use your Canvas inbox feature. 
Um, just a reminder that Canvas isn't an email and you should be checking your email for communications from your professor very frequently. If you send a message to your professor through Canvas or through email and you don't hear back from them after a couple of days, um, we advise to send a follow-up email just to touch base so that you can get all your questions answered. If you have any other questions about Canvas, be sure to visit us here at the ARC by using the Brightpoint Tutoring Services webpage, brightpoint.edu slash services slash tutoring.